what they felt the last time they saw you. Welcome Crystal Souls on this new picky guide. Today we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and the one of the ones calling you are going to be the answers. And when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. So like me, get yourself cozy, get some snacks, a good drink, maybe a hot chocolate like me, and let's get ready for this new pick a card. So I invite you to take your time, meditate on the cards if you want. Here is a close-up so you can see the illustrations, perhaps a feeling, a calling, or maybe some resemblance with this person that you think about and your person. If you have nobody in mind, it's all good. Just be open for the future and so you can see what they will feel when meeting you for the first time. Group number one, let's start. So here we have a very emotional, intense, passionate scene. So this could be, of course, the feeling when they were with you last, last time. So group number one, let's see the feeling. <laughs> but first of all, when you look at the scene, it's very passionate and emotional. Even the rain itself can be talking about that pouring of emotion, wanting to be transparent with these things as well towards you. So perhaps you felt they were really connected to you or they felt some deep attraction towards you and you possibly felt the same, but this is really showing that there is that attraction, there is mutual feelings and this desire to be a bit more, you know, physically connected. So let's see with the other cards. So what they felt the last time they saw you. Ooh, interesting. I just see with the King of Swords, they think about you a lot these days. They're trying to find a way to possibly build that relationship because they want the two of you to be fulfilled and happy in this one. I do think this person wants to become a queen or a king for you. They want to be the provider. They want to feel enough. They want you to also be thinking about them all the time. This is why they're trying to appear as somebody who is going to be perfect and ideal for you. So everything you talked about as like, you know, what is perfection to me? What is something that I desire? What I like? They will make sure to bring that to the table because they want to come with a full cup. And you can see that with the Ten of Cups. Number 10 talks about completion. So they feel complete when around you. They feel whole, they feel understood. And because we have this, you know, when I see the armor and especially swords energy, I always think about justice and fairness. So they feel that way around you. They feel like this is fair, this is balanced. You can see the scales here. Balanced to be in that relationship or to be around this person. I don't feel judged. I don't feel awkward. I just feel good. But now they're, they're in deep thinking. Okay, what can I do now to make that relationship happen? What can I do now to bring that magic he or she wants me <laughs> to bring to her or him? And with that, I see that the two of you will become a bit more compatible, a bit more, you know, connected. And with that complicity, I see the two of you sharing your magic together and feeling open to do so. So this tells me your person feels comfortable and feels this time when together is magical and I just want to go back to you and spend more time with you. But who can I be to you in a way that you'll feel satisfied and happy, in a way that you'll feel fulfilled? Because they want to be the best and they might pressure themselves a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But they're so happy with you. Even the rainbow and the rainbow colors you can see here talks about this, you know, colorful emotions or just that sense of magic went together. And because we have the four of wands, this one, this card is actually associated to soul family soulmates or beyond but definitely i'm saying that your souls feel comfortable around each other you feel at home with each other that's why wholeness with number 10 and perhaps you guys are actually solely connected and you feel like okay 
we feel the same way. There is passion, attraction, happiness. There is love, that is for sure. You guys have your eyes on them all the time. And I'm sure during this encounter, you felt like they looked at you a lot or they paid attention to everything you said, everything you did, and they were really engaging. So that's so far the energy. And number four talks about stability. So they feel stable. They feel good. They feel like they can be themselves around you. So let's see how they felt. They felt cozy. See, it's just like finally I meet someone I feel comfortable with. I feel taken care of and I want to provide to them as well. So you possibly felt the same. You felt like you were you know, hurt and taken care of, you felt cozy, warm, comfortable, and I told you, you might be attracting someone in your soul family, and we have the counterparts card, which is a symbol for me that you are attracting someone that is destined to be with you. So this person felt cozy, they felt your warmth, and because we have a lot of books appearing there, they felt like they could talk with you for hours, talk about every stories that you guys had, talked about, you know, you guys possibly talked about things that happened in your life that you never talked to, to anybody else. So you, you're an open book around the person and they feel the same too. They feel like they can just be themselves around you without having to hide parts of you or just pretend around you. And because the books can be presenting that part of intelligence, they could love that about you. The fact that you are emotionally and also mentally intelligent, that you're fair to everybody around, and they want to be that person for you too. And we have integrated. You're one of us now, I'm the only one like me. This could be the feeling too. Perhaps you guys, when you talk about yourself, the two of you, you might feel like we're very different, but at the same time we click. It is effortless and you feel like you are really welcomed for who you are and you don't need to change because this is a scene from um, Fantastic Beast and he is a muggle <laughs> and she is a witch. And, you know... Like, and especially around that time, they were not really welcoming of these things. Like, if you're a witch, you have to be with a wizard. And so, it could be the same feeling to you guys have two different backgrounds, or it, it feels like it's not the norm to be dating with somebody that's different from you. But for you guys, you feel like, actually, this is complimentary our differences or different backgrounds or the way that we are is actually good because that brings something new to them and they bring something new to you. But they feel welcomed no matter what. There is some announcement coming up for you. Perhaps they will confess their feelings because if they haven't told you how they felt, they will because I feel like they are in a hurry. They might recognize that's the one. They bring safety, balance, security, stability. I want to commit to them. I see a future. And actually, the Four of Wands talks about celebration. So they celebrate their time with you. They're so happy to be around you. So they might finally feel inspired to make a move towards you and with the home they feel at home with you that's for sure but definitely I see somebody who is excited like they cannot wait to be with you they cannot wait to build a relationship with you yes they are on board and they want you to be on board too I feel they're a bit hesitant or I mean not hesitant but they think about building something with you but they're trying to find you know clues on how you feel if you're on board as well, because they don't want to be passed away or just, you know, rejected. So they want to find clues. Maybe that's why the judge appeared to find clues to know what's going on. How does this person feel towards me? Because I don't want to be the only one feeling this way. Although they feel there is indeed, you know, some, some electricity in the air when you guys are together, but they want to feel, okay, this person is ready. Independent. I just think when you guys talk, 
it's not in a needy way. You guys are very independent, you have your life next to, you know, you two, and you give space to each other to fulfill your dreams, to work on maybe your studies or your, um, your job. And this is what makes the two of you feel com comfortable. Like, it, it's just a way, or it's a feeling that allows yourself to not be greedy if you want to be working on those dreams or do those things because your other person will be understanding and we have tactual i just think yes this person wants to talk about their feelings but also to be able next to be a bit more tactual with you or perhaps you felt like during these times together they were possibly caressing your hand or maybe brushing your hair you know something like this i feel like the way they communicate their love or interest towards you is by being tactile so these things might be important for them being tactile and having some independence even with their friends like they might want to have free times to hang out with friends or people they care even their family let's see now messages what they wanted to say or what they felt like saying it's time yeah i feel like it, it's time because they are in a hurry they're just running towards you announcing how they feel so don't you dare resisting me it's time and come to me in continual motion like the waves the waves of the ocean Perhaps it's talking about the timing between the two of you. The timing is perfect now to be building that relationship. Or if you're watching this single, now it is time for you to take some action towards possibly somebody you have a crush on so you can see some results. But don't you dare resisting me. <laughs> I just think it's really the vibe though. Although it's not that forceful, but they're like, I hope, this person feels the same because I don't want to be the only one feeling like I want something more. I want to feel you and please don't resist me because I've been craving for you. That's totally the feeling. Let's see more messages. I'm not a toy. They want honesty. Like they want you to be true, to be open. And no matter what it is, like no matter how you feel, they want to know everything. And I just want to be with you. I'm not a toy and I just want to be with you. So these were the other messages. Let's continue with the other techniques. So I'm going to be picking the charms and we can get more hints about how, it, how they felt. You can also see letters and words which can be associated to the name of your person, perhaps a place or something specific. <laughs> I don't know why, but I saw this as an M and this was more. So they possibly want more and you could see that with the reading. Hope, sure, by name. This is not bye bye, this is B and um, Y. So bye, maybe bye. I heard the sea. So the sun talks about happiness. They felt positive vibe. This time was a positive time. Happy time with you. They felt at peace around you. And I'm sure you feel the same when you're around the person. Your communication is always something they enjoy. Because to me, the blue one connects to the throat chakra. So good communication, enjoying your communication, your exchanges is what you can see here. They like that it's never boring with you. You always talk about different subjects and things. You talk about you freeing yourself or just, you know, freeing yourself from the past, navigating through the future. They love that they can feel safe around you, even talk about things that broke their heart or were just very difficult in the past. Um, they love that your conversations are flowing together. That's especially what I'm getting here with this one and all these letters perhaps you can see something very personal let's continue next with the dice so especially about how they felt they felt connected you can see that with this one 
holding hands. And we talked about this with Tacto, you know, possibly they did hold your hand. And if so, that really shows they're trying to make a move towards you. With the Emperor, I see someone who wants to be building something. You know, to me, the Emperor is about commitment, leadership, someone who is strong, someone who is mature. And they also want something that will grow with time. We have the bird, and this to me describes messengers. So perhaps they want to send you a lot of messages these days and possibly ask you out on another date. There is magic in the air when the two of you are together. They love that you ask a lot of questions as well. Rather by text, but also when you guys are together. Can you see that? Because that shows, okay, this person cares about me. Um, with the snowman, I always have this vision of like, do you want to build a snowman? So do you want to build something with me? I think that's really the hidden message here. And they love the path you guys are taking with that relationship and connection. Like they, they really enjoy how things are evolving between the two of you. So let's continue with my book of love answers. So I'm going to ask how they felt when you guys were together. And by the way, if you guys want to get a reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below. So check it out. Same thing for yes or no, if you guys want that. So how they felt the last time they saw you. Okay, so I'm saying they felt guided towards you because they felt like this could be true love. And I mean, we could see counterparts, etc. So this is so fitting. I hope you guys liked this reading. If you did, put a thumbs up. Claim this energy down below in the comments to manifest it faster. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Join the beautiful family. And I will see you guys on my next reading. If you're attracted towards another reading or another pile, feel free. Take care and see you guys next time. Group number two, how they felt the last time you guys were together. So I see some spice here, some desire, and possibly this is what they want for future dates. They want some intimacy. They want to be bonding with you, connecting with you in a very intimate area. And you might want the same thing, but what I see is that they feel comfortable around you. They feel connected to you. They have some deep attraction towards you. And physically, they're trying to just cool down because you might be very very attractive i mean you're their type for sure and what i see with the cat is they feel safe around you they feel comfortable around you because cats it's rather you know they don't feel comfortable and they just stay away or they like your energy and they just stick around so that's really what i'm getting here because the cat is just very close to them they want to stick around you they want to be connected to you and get closer and closer with you but what i see is that building of intimacy that desire to actually be together and to be intimate as well so yes they have some deep love and attraction towards you already already <laughs> and with the window i see that they look at you a lot and especially on social media they might just actually enjoy to watch your videos or pictures that you post because it's a way for them to get some news and get to see you when not being physically together so with the four of pentacles they feel stable around you they feel appreciated around you they feel safe again because number four talks about security and safety because when they feel like they are not providing enough, when they're not enough, you're there reassuring themselves. And so they feel like they are a winner around you. This is what they like. You make this person feel strong, powerful, unstoppable, special as well. And they might want you to feel the same. Yes, they feel like the king. This is the other energy of the deck. They feel like a king. They feel appreciated. They feel seen. They feel recognized. They feel heard. I'm going to take this one because I think this is very connected to your person's energy and the feeling too. And we have the queen underneath. So you guys feel very, very good around each other. And you want to bring that sense of safety and security to your person. And this is felt. This is felt on a deeper level and they feel comfortable. They feel so good. They feel so energized. They just feel happy. I mean, you can see the way she feels is like, I am victorious. I can do whatever I want. I am appreciated. I am seen. Like, like she's a star <laughs> she's a star shining brightly and you can see the community just connecting connecting with her and this might feel the same 
when you are with this person you feel connected you feel like you can be invincible and they feel just the same they feel like they are when around you like a superhero you see um, and with the spotlight they like when you put or you shine your light on them it's kind of like I notice you, I appreciate you, and I pour love onto you, and they, they just like that a lot, and I can't, I can't feel that, they just feel special when you do this, rather it's like looking at them in the eyes, or holding their hands, or reassuring themselves, or even just putting your, your hand on their shoulders as some reassurance gestural, they like this a lot. So if you've been doing these things or if you plan on doing these things, they will feel so good if you do that. But your words are very comforting, the way you look at them, um, the, the way you guys convey energies as well. Like you guys feel like, like I said, you are invincible together. You feel good, you feel noticed, you feel like a queen or a king. And this is their feeling right now. They feel like they are very special to you. And that's because they felt very unappreciated in other relationships. And they might talk about these things as if, you know, with you, they can really be who they want to be and be appreciated for that. But yes, they don't want to feel like this anymore, like left out or like a beggar always asking to, you know, do better or I don't know. But I feel like they were provided a little in other relationships and with you, it's the total opposite and they just enjoy that a lot because they feel spoiled with love and spoiled with positivity. I mean, I can see that coming from you. So let's see how they felt. Okay, they're falling in love. <laughs> you can see this on the card. Let me just get another one and I'll show you a close up. But they're falling in love with you. It's an evidence. And you might feel like, of course, I'm watching this, but I know how this person feels because there is something happening. There's something happening and maybe this is destiny. But there is something happening that you cannot really explain. I told you, complicity, compatibility, it's totally the vibe. You guys are perfect for each other. And because you're perfect, you might feel more at ease around them. And I just think because you feel comfortable to be yourself and your complicity is to the root, and they just fall in love with you more and more and more. And what I see is possibly a move around... Um, spring season or summer season depends where you are at because I can see autumn too with the pentacles and if not it could be fire sign or earth signs for these but I truly believe and possibly around valentine's day things were speeding up or you represented this person for a reason and they will bring you safety as well and balance but you guys are going to feel at ease around each other and like you can tell this person is falling in love with you and possibly during the last time you guys spent time together they felt so much connection with you that they're starting to develop deep feelings with you the star this is totally the vibe and i told you you feel like a star and they feel like a star around you too and perhaps you want to feel this way you want to feel like you're special you're celebrated and they want to feel this way too and because you are able to do that and i told you you pour your light on them you pour your love this is what they appreciate they feel on top of the world they they just feel like they are floating around when around you and when someone is in love you might have recognized that they and yourself feel like you're floating time flies so fast things are kind of like i don't know dissolving around you and just a moment with them exist and i don't know it's just a feeling like you're floating and this might be how they felt when you guys were together on top of the moon floating around on top of the world like they're the star of the show they feel invincible unstoppable like honestly you make this person feel whew, very very i don't know powerful in a way so the star and here we have Yes, take a rest. I just think this card really represents the fact that they feel comfortable enough 
to not be guarded, to not defend anything. They can just be relaxed, taking a rest with you. It's relaxing. It's relaxing. It's easy. It feels good. And they possibly want you to know that when around you, they feel like they can really rely on you and take a rest. They don't have to always be the warrior, the conqueror or the warrior. <laughs> you see, it's like I can finally be at peace with you and this feels so good. So take a rest and the star were the two other cards. Let's see their feelings, especially how they felt or how they feel when around you. Ooh, intimidating, interesting. I think it's because you're shining so bright that sometimes they feel intimidated by your energy and by your aura because it's like, wow, like, woo, it's so strong. <laughs> I don't know how to react. And so if they act a bit shy or if they stutter a lot, um, and I've been stuttering so much during this thing, I'm possibly cutting it so you don't really hear it. But maybe that's why. Maybe that's because I'm really tapping into the energy of your person and they feel a bit intimidated and so they might stutter sometimes. And if you notice that, that's why. intimidating and here imaginative they can be in fantasy land with you they can be talking about um like future projects future dreams accomplishments you want to you know reach for the future or for example if you're somebody who likes um like i don't know imaginative stories or if you like to daydream a lot or if you love any fantastic movies or things like concepts that can be a bit too avant-garde for the majority of people with them you will feel you can really talk about these things without restricting yourself or stopping yourself so you guys are big dreamers together and i'm seeing 11 11 at the same time this is divine okay so they felt a bit intimidated and they love the fact that you guys can go and explore concepts, dreams, and you can talk about anything together. Let's see messages. So what they felt like saying to you or what they might open up about in the future. Let's see what comes out. I'll take this one. This one is calling me, so I'll take it. Promise me you'll stay with me forever. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, with the Five of Pentacles, it's about asking for more. Like they're begging for more and possibly they, they have been in these type of relationships. And so perhaps some abandonment issues or um, trauma could be there. And this is why they want someone who is reliable, who can see how precious they are. And trust me, they feel so connected to you that they want to protect you. They want you to feel precious to them and they will show you that <laughs> and they want to feel the same way and they want some reassurance possibly towards how you feel so promise me you'll stay with me forever and the night is ours they felt like it when being around you the world is ours we can do anything that's why i see two big dreamers and two powerful manifestors so that's the way they felt and they want you possibly to express how you feel, to make them aware that you're serious for that relationship. Because they want, you know, to, to feel safe. I feel like they will need safety in a relationship. They will need some reassurance in the beginning. So let's see more messages. What they want to say, how they felt. You should come closer. <laughs> I totally can see that. And won't you regret if I go? I, I just think it's the opposite way. Like, they will regret it if you guys, like, get on separate ways. They just want to be connected to you. Like, they will regret it if this does not really work or if this does not evolve into love. So won't you regret if I go and you should come closer. Like, they want closeness. They don't want separation at all. Like, they just want to be connecting 
with you. So let's continue with the charms, not the stickers, the charms. Let's see how they felt. You can also see a name appearing, a place with the letters and words. Maybe something personal and specific. We have a tie. They feel a tie. They feel a tie. They feel they're tied up towards you, possibly solely tied up to you. I don't know. But there is a connection and they feel that. At. Perhaps you can see a place. It. Oh, eating. Perhaps they love to eat with you as well. Or maybe cook something for you. So, what I see is a lot of joy. A lot of joy when they are around you. They love your positivity. They love your vibe. They love the time you spend together. They love that you're sweet with them. They see you as somebody who is rocking their world. You're very inspiring to them. And here we have happy. So yes, totally happy, good vibes. And like I said, they feel invincible with you. They feel powerful with you, which is totally the vibe. And you might feel the same when around your person. They feel like the way you guys are connecting is effortless. Like if you have rollers, you just roll around, float around, you see? So that's the feeling. They feel like they have everything um, valuable to give to you. Like they have all the tools, they have all the charisma they need, all the skills they need to conquer your heart. With this one, they love that you're not someone who is fixed on things. You have an open mind and they really appreciate that. And as for the angel, they might see you as an angel. They might see you as someone who is, you know, very acceptant, loving, caring with others. And this is what they like about you. And when they are around you, they feel this is divine. This is magical to even just have the ability, have the chance to be around this person. So with the dice, I just think this person is living a place where, yes, it was heavy, it was a bit toxic, and now they just feel, finally, <laughs> finally something new is coming. Someone will treat me with respect, love, and care. Perhaps in the beginning they felt a bit guarded because they wanted to know if it was safe to be with you. They are being announced that you are someone they want to be building with, just so you know. And they feel like a knight. They feel like a knight around you. Like they can really be themselves. They can express themselves fully. They can take action. They can be driven and passionate. And they will not be judged about it. I told you, eating, I feel like food is something they appreciate. If you did cook something or brought some food, went together, they really appreciate that. It, it feels like they are taken care of when they're provided food. They love your beauty as well. You have this mystical, um, deity type of beauty, like Venus-like. This is what I'm getting from this one. And again, they see a future with you and they want to conquer you right now. They want to be building something with you. So let's see next with my book of love answers. So how they felt when you guys were together. We'll see more hints. And if you guys want to get a reading with me or a yes or no, everything is linked down below. So check it out. So how they felt. Let's see that. Turn one page. Are you ready, guys? Okay, so they want to talk to you more. They, they, are, they just cannot wait to just get some news from you. So text them, text me. That's the cool link here. So if you're new here, join the family and subscribe down below. You can claim this beautiful energy in the comments to amplify and manifest this one. That's too. Take good care of you guys. Check my other readings while you wait for me. And I'll see you next time. Group number three, how they felt when you guys were together for the last time. Honestly, I see that they felt a deep, deep, passionate attraction. They just want to make a move towards you. Possibly you felt like they were trying to make a move already, but I think this is the next step in that 
connection. They want to connect with you and show how much they crave for you because I can see a craving here. I can see a deep desire. Like, I just want to kiss you. I want to caress you. I want us to be in our bubble together. Like, this is what I cannot wait to experience with you. So let's see how they felt the last time they saw you with the other cards and techniques. So the last time they felt, they felt invincible, they felt so connected to you, they felt like they could be their true authentic self, they were shining so bright, possibly you really felt their mood were really light, bright and full of positivity, they were really fun as well and this is because you made them feel comfortable, you made them feel appreciated for who they are. So their personality were shining brightly. The chariot card talks about direction and I think this talks about the future. When starting to spend time with you, they felt so connected that they could see things evolving between the two of you and you taking the same direction, but they target you, okay? They just want to be with you. You're the one they feel a deep connection with and they want to see what you guys can build together long term. This is why I see a victorious relationship. I see something that will actually last in time and that's why they project themselves and possibly fantasize and they dream about you two having this intimate time. They see themselves a lot in you. That's why we have the mirror. And when around you, they feel connected to their souls. They feel like they can be their divine self. They feel appreciated for who they truly are. Their intuition is very strong around you. Possibly they even open their third eye around you without realizing it because they're so in flow. They're so solely connected. And so because this energy is mirrored, you might feel that too. You might feel something is happening when you guys are together. And because we can see the star, especially in the head, this tells me they think about you a lot. You obsess their mind, you see? And that's because they can see a future with you. And perhaps they've been really looking around as some hints at some hints or even predictions to see if you guys can actually work together. Perhaps they watch tarot readings too or maybe some divination tools they might use to see what's going on next because they want to know if they can take action because they are a bit afraid. I feel like they are a bit intimidated. I'm not sure if this is about you or if this is about a status of a relationship. Perhaps they're afraid to be rejected or just if you don't feel the same, I just think there's a lot in their mind. <laughs> and when around you, they might overthink things a lot. That's the feeling here. But when they start to think positive, they start to manifest that around them. And you might, the two of you, feel more connected this way. But just so you know, they're scared. They're scared possibly to lose you. They're scared to confess to you. They're scared of not being enough. I just think this person wants to be so perfect all the time that sometimes they're chasing for perfection and they might not, you know, stop actually overthinking and be appreciative of what they can offer, who they can be in a relationship. And if you can see this person is a bit hesitant or this person is afraid to commit fast, it's because they need some reassurance. They just need to feel comfortable. And that's something they have to decide for themselves. It's not something you have to do. It's more like, okay, I'm ready. I feel ready. Let's go. But in the beginning, they might need some time to calm down a little bit because a lot of things is happening in their mind space. Um, and, and you can see positive and also some anxiety, but it, it's what's happening. This is how they feel. So let's see how they felt with you. And because we have two times number seven, because seven is the chariot, card number. Um, seven is about luck. So they feel lucky to have you as well. They feel solely connected to you too, because number seven connects to the soul. And we talked about this with the high priestess. There's some soul connection, soul bond, or some spiritual 
you know, synergy here that is happening. So they feel close to you and I'm sure they felt that way and you felt that way too, like you feel close to each other. You can really appreciate um, like the time you have together, but also the, the way you guys click and connect together. You feel close to each other. You feel understood. And so that closeness brings them peace. They feel at peace around you. They feel so good. They feel relaxed. And I think it's what they need because <laughs> their mind is just going wild and you just possibly just make them cool down a little bit. And possibly that's a way for you to know, make sure to bring that energy back because they feel good around you. And this brings them some reassurance. So yes, closeness and peaceful. This is nice to see. So let's continue with the other cards. And because we have the, the window open, I see they feel open when around you and peaceful enough to talk about everything with you. They love your nurturing energy. Like this mothery, fathery essence and energy, the way you treat them, the way you talk to them, the way you, even maybe the way you are tactile with them is very nurturing. And singing the same symphony. What I see with this one, especially, is when together they feel so connected. Like if you're building the same symphony, if you're singing the same symphony, it feels like you know the lyrics together. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, but when the time that you spend together is happening, it feels it's on track. You know, you're going in the same direction. You are in perfect sync. And so you sing the same symphony. You see, it's something that's very metaphorical. And hopefully you get the picture. <laughs> but this is really the feeling they feel when around you. And they love this nurturing essence. They love to be taken care of as a child would be. And you have this ability to do that effortlessly. And they enjoy it so much. So let's see. How they feel... I just think sometimes they might judge themselves because they present themselves as distant. They, they wish they could show you, perhaps physically, how deep they feel and how close they are with you. But sometimes they feel like they have to stop themselves. Otherwise, they might appear as somebody who is, you know, <laughs> uh, too attached. And they don't want to appear as somebody who is too needy. They want to appear as someone who is strong and independent. And so they can be appearing distant sometimes. But trust me, they want some closeness. They want to be tender and express this tenderness with you. And perhaps this is about you. Perhaps they felt you were distant a little bit, but they want to build closeness with you. And they felt your tenderness, they, they felt comfortable around you. And this is why they felt peaceful too. You could see that with the other cards. And with the fire, they love the warmth you bring. And I'm sure when you enter a room, you change the mood of the room. You can really impact people's emotions and feelings too. And this is what they feel around you. They feel, I feel better. I feel supported. I feel understood. I feel heard. And this feels magical this feels very nurturing too so let's see the message or messages so what they want to say to you or how they felt when together Ooh, i'm not sure if this happened but they want to kiss you if this did not happen so we have a first kiss i'll show you the world they want to be the provider. <laughs> I respect and honor yourself. Perhaps they felt like this. You respect them. You honor them. And, you know, you just want to be providing. And it feels good to receive. So first kiss, I'll show you the world. And I respect and honor yourself. Who is he? Is there a competition? Is there somebody that, you know, is getting in the way? I don't know. But perhaps they felt insecure. Or maybe they just feel insecure with no reason. <laughs> perhaps. Because I told you, this person is overthinking things. So maybe this is why. They feel like they have competition. They feel like they have to, you know, I don't know. Just, I mean, I, 
I know, it's just they feel insecure because they might feel you have options and why them, you see? Ah, uh, it's bad to see, but <laughs> it could be the feeling. So let's see the feeling, messages as well. Yes, let's see. So share your secrets to me. You should run, pretty girl. <laughs> I'm sad you're not here with me. And... I cannot read this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Share your secrets to me. You should run, pretty girl. I'm sad you're not here with me. So this could be the feeling at the moment. Let's continue with the chimes. So anything about their feelings. You can also see some initials from your person. Maybe a place, a name. Okay, so... IP, go, going, pig, what? I mean, to me, pig talks about, like, I always picture this piggy bank. So maybe feeling like I am provided enough in that relationship, the sense of abundance could be. Um, what else? I also think of good luck because the pig, especially in Asia, is representative of good luck and fortune. So maybe that's a sign as well. IG, maybe pictures on IG. They might look at them a lot. So with the times, I see that this person felt like they could be open to you you can see the shell being open so they felt like they could open up to you and feel comfortable i see that they want to do the work like they want to clear the space and they want you to clear the space too so if you are dating multiple people i mean if you're just trying to find the one and have options they might want the two of you to be serious at the moment so if that's the case just know they don't really like that um, what they felt is they felt victorious, they felt appreciated around you. Again, we have the starfish, we have two times this one. So this to me is like sticking, like they stick to the surface. And to me, it's like, I want to stick to you. I want to be around you. They feel safe and protected. They feel like they can adapt in that relationship. They want to put the work to build this one. They feel good around you, that's for sure. And with the sun, they feel that positivity from you. They feel happy around you. And they just want to spend more time with you. Perhaps you can see their name or initials here or if you see there are names everywhere this could be a good sign here and with the bird the bird to me is a symbol for messages so they might love exchanges with you they might love to exchange messages or even vocally talk to each other this is what they like when actually spending time spending time together so with the dice, yes, I just think this person is overthinking things and tying themselves up. Like, I'm not sure I'm appreciated or I'm not sure I can make a move. You know, it, they're just overthinking things. And perhaps it's because they've been around people that were pretty judgy or pretty negative. And so this affected their energy. So I think that's some background here. They love that you're faithful and also very joyful, fun and bubbly. Just like a, you know, dogs tend to be very playful, jumping around and they're loyal. Um, they stick with you. They want to make you happy. They are supportive as well. So I think that's your energy too. And they like that about you. They love that you make them feel nothing is impossible. They can reach the top. They can shine brightly. This is really how you make them feel. With the, um, the bear, the bear to me is about protection and family. So they might feel safe around you and feel deeply connected as if you're family or soul family. They feel like everything is possible for them with the wishes coming true and the lamp. And with this one, I see that they want to conquer something or maybe they want to conquer you. They want to be the chosen one and they're choosing you. That's good to see. Let's continue next with my book of love answer. So let's ask how they felt the last time 
you were together and if you guys want to get a rating with me or a yes or no everything is gonna be linked down below so check it out let's see group number three how they felt okay they just cannot wait oops sorry they cannot wait to contact you and they felt like the time you spend was too short and they just want to talk to you over and over again and they might tell you please contact me let's talk more because i want to build that connection again and again so make sure to claim this energy down below in the comments subscribe if you're new of course take good care of you guys check my other readings as well appearing on the screen if you want some extra guidance and i will see you next time Bye-bye.